Hi, I'm Mark. This is On Your Marks Run. Today I'm down at Seaford Beach to do my 378th park run. It's perfect conditions. It's probably under 10 degrees today, so a little bit cold. Um, it's pacer day today, um, so I'm probably going to try and follow the 22 pacer, although I have got a bit of a cold, so it might be an issue. But yeah, let's see how we get on. Hi, welcome back to the channel. We're just down at Seaford Beach Park Run this week. We're on the start line and we're waiting for the run director to do his pre-event briefing. Good morning everybody! Welcome to Seaford Beach Park Run. Let's start by having a round of applause for the volunteers. Okay, a few milestones today. We've got Kate, it's our hundred. Where are you Kate? We've got Joe. Where are you Joe? It's Joe's 50th. Okay, today it's Pacer Week here at Park Run. You'll see a number of people wearing blue bibs with numbers on the back. That's the time they're going to aim to run. Put your hands up if you're a Pacer today. There you go, there's plenty of them. Okay, timekeepers, are you ready? Okay. Please remember normal park one rules, dogs on the shore lead, children under 11 must be with you at all times. We don't have exclusive use of the prom, be mindful of other users, but look after each other and enjoy yourself. Okay, we're off in 3, 2, 1, go! Here we go, let's, let's get running, let's try and catch up with that 22 pacer, and he's long gone. He's got a nice open seafront to run on. Um, yeah, so he's well up there now. I've got the 26 pacer to my left, the 25 pacer ahead. And yeah, I'm past him, so that's good. Can't see a 24 pacer, so the next guy to pick off is just ahead, the 23. Um, it's starting to open up a little bit, so I'm just going to weave my way through some of these runners. And I have noticed that there's quite a bit of shingle that's been washed up onto the seafront. Uh, so that makes the route a little bit tighter, a little bit more difficult to overtake other runners. So we're up level with the 23 now. And we've got a guy with the push chair. Um, but he looks a pretty decent runner, so it wouldn't surprise me if he'll be long gone once it opens up for him. And yeah, no, we're getting, we're getting up there. We're not too far from the 22 pace in here. Uh, but there looks to be a bit of a group forming around him. Obviously quite a few people wanting that sub 22. I'm still a little bit off it. So I would like to, I'd much prefer to be on the shoulder of the 22. I don't want to lose contact. There's still a little bit shoulder to shoulder. There's a few runners around me. Any little gaps appear, I'll try and just get through them. And the push chair guy, he's pushed on, he's found a gap. He's a pretty decent runner, it's probably the last I'm going to see of him. Right, there's hopefully something to open up. There's something opening up here on the left. Hopefully I can just push through. Go on, there we go. It looks like I'm probably about level with the sub-22 pacer now. And I prefer to run like this. So I can be level with him, but with a nice open seafront to run on. I'm a lot more comfortable running. I don't like to run on people's heels. And it is a lovely day at Seaford. A nice sun gleaming there, barely a cloud in the sky. It's below 10 degrees, so it's quite quite nippy, but quite nice and fresh, perfect conditions for running.
and I'm feeling quite good now looking at the pace I'm 649 um, so we're I think for like I said for a sub 22 you're looking at a 704 pace but that would be cutting it fine um, but we're we're a good 10-15 seconds up on that the heart rate's getting up there 161 um, I think 168 is is supposed to be my max. Um, obviously, that's just a rough guide. Um, but yeah, I'm getting up there. I've got a bit of a cold at the minute, so yeah, the heart rate does seem to be a bit elevated. So 0.6 of a mile now. So I just want to keep this pace going for the first split. Um, so I can nail that first mile and be on pace. I think I'm a few yards ahead of the pacer, but he's um, he's he's still there. I don't want to lose face and let the pacer overtake me again. I want to stay ahead of him if I can. dropped a bit of pace now yeah just over the seven minute mile so I'm hoping that's not gonna slip too much because I might struggle to get that sub 22 just need to pick that up and get back into the sixes this is a pan flat course this one um, in the winter though, as I say, you do get a lot of shingle wash up on the seafront and they sometimes they do divert the course a little bit and you have to go up a little bit of a hill. Um, but not today, it's it's the normal course, it's all dead dead flat, which is good. So I'm not losing too much more pace, but it's um yeah, yeah I would prefer it if it was in the sixes. The heart rate seems to be staying fairly stable at this stage, which I would hope it would, being that we're barely a third into it. Oh, here we go. We've got a, someone doing well there who's running at a good pace. I don't think we'll see him again. I want another one running through. But it doesn't look like I'm slowing down. It looks like I'm picking it back up again. 6.57, that's where I want to be, so we've got a 100 milestone ahead, he looks like he's running more at the sort of pace that I can maybe latch on to and, and just stay with him, happy. Yeah. that was the pacer there, just saying everyone happy, um, yeah he's, we've like obviously got a nice little group with us, um, but I'm not looking back, and the pace is all on at 6.52 now and we're just approaching that mile split now I'll put that up on the screen let's see if we nail that sub 7 there we go, we've got 6.53 so I'm bang on pace about probably about 11 seconds up at the minute um, so we want to keep that in the bank if we can just stay, stay with the milestone guy Rate stone where it was 161. Obviously, that's probably going to climb as we get further into into the run. Really happy with the pace about now 651. So that's good if I can keep that going. It's really opened up now, plenty of room to run. A nice open seafront. This course in the winter can be uh, really open when it's windy. It's you normally get a westerly wind, so you'll be wind assisted on the way out on that out and back course. 
uh, but then when you make the turn you're running into that westerly wind that can be really tough uh, but not today it's uh, yeah real light breeze so yeah so it's as I say really good conditions and the milestone it looks like it's just stretching away a bit I've just got to just uh, get back on pace and just get just get back on him I don't want to lose contact my pace has dropped a bit actually I'm running 7 flat so I don't want to I'm going to lose any more time I need to get back onto this milestone guy oh we've got another guy kind of coming up alongside he looks a pretty strong runner I've got to make sure I don't slip off the pace too much is it the, these guys have upped the pace or is it me? Well, looking looking at the pace there, it looks like I'm dropping a bit of pace. Although I am going round this uh, wish tower kind of fortress. Um, so I guess the GPS is uh, cutting the corners off a bit maybe. about five beats of the maximum. And I've still not I need to get that oh hello just as we say that the pace has just dropped below that seven again, which is where we want to be. So the leaders are just coming through there. Up, mate. Now it'll be interesting when we uh, just spin round the turn point here whether we do see the pacer. Thank you. Uh, no, I think the pace is really tight. I think he's literally a couple of yards off me. But there's a good old group, there's, there's probably like six or seven of us all chasing that 22. And that's going to right up with the milestone guy. Pay 6.53, so I'm quite happy with that. Still under that seven minute flat that we want. And we're past halfway, so that's good. climbing again 165 so only about three beats off that maximum well, the breathing sounds quite controlled though not <laughs> not absolutely uh, hanging by a thread yet and pace has dropped off a little bit again but this is real time pace it's not average pace, so that probably will fluctuate a little bit. We've got a runner coming through here, a bit of a local legend, Sam. Really good runner. So let's see if we can stay with her. I want another one. <laughs> This is the group working together though, like, you know, if the pace drops a little bit, someone's taking up the slack, and then we've all got to try and keep with them. We can all work together and keep that pace going, hopefully we'll all get that sub-22. But my pace has dropped quite a bit, 7.10, I can't leave that like that for too much longer. I need to just pick that up if I can get on the back of these two. That should hopefully come down below that seven mark again. Wanna be in the sixes. One point nine miles now. 
so we're approaching that second split so we'll have a mile left after that well 1.12 It's almost two thirds through, and I'm back on these two, so we're running together, so that's good. And I did have a bit of a count up when we were going around that turn point. It looked like there was about 21 runners ahead of me there. So that's pretty good quite happy to be in the top 30 and the second mile splits just popped up and that's seven minute flat so yeah so I'm not off the pace but it would be nice to um, stay in the sixes um, the middle mile normally for me um, I do sometimes struggle to keep a bit of concentration but that wasn't too bad I didn't, didn't really lose any time there so if I can just pick this last mile up and get back in the sixes, I'll definitely be good for that sub-22. And at this point, the pacer hasn't overtaken me, so that's a good sign. The, the pace is still over that seven I would uh, obviously if it's only a minute or two you're not really losing too much time but the longer you, I stay at this pace I could well lose a bit of time another couple of club mates there the heart rate now 167 so I'm only one beat below my um, below my max um, like I say that's a rough guide as I say 220 minus your age but um, won't worry about that too much I mean normally when I've not got a cold and I'm putting an effort in on a park run I'm, uh, you know that would be a an absolute all-out effort and we've got another runner coming through now not, not sure I've seen her yet she's running well so it'd be good if we can uh, maybe she was part of the group behind um, yeah she's, she's taking up the slack the pace is 7-7 seven, seven, so maybe it was still a bit slow maybe she was was worried the pace was dropping a bit too much so she's taking the pace on so we will need to stick with her if we can yeah definitely need to work a bit make sure I keep on on these two there they're running well Yeah, you can't see all of us. There's about four runners ahead of me now, I think. And probably three or four behind. I definitely don't want to drop off the back of this pack. Uh, so I'd prefer to, if I can, definitely move up a couple of places. It looks like I've actually got five runners ahead of me now. So am I slipping back? Just when everything was going so well, disaster has struck. Yeah, the camera started beeping away, so I did fiddle around with it and try to get it going again. Um, but yeah, no, I think the battery was exhausted. Um, yeah, so that was really gutting. It was a really good last K. There was a good group of us. Actually, I think it was a bigger group than I initially thought. There was probably like sort of eight or nine of us. So I put up the third and fourth split. Did manage to pick it up for that third mile and average is 6.55. And then for the last point one of a mile, managed to get into the five, so that was good, a good sprint at the end there. So taking a look at the official results, I came in 24th place, 
Um, there was quite a few runners around my time. We all came in well under the 22 paces, so that was good. Um, yeah, still a bit of a distance off my course PB of 2049. Uh, my overall part run PB is 2024, so I'm about a minute off that. But yeah, I'm aiming to do a few more of these and get the get the times down again. So apologies for the missing footage, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.